We wanted to take an opportunity to remind our community why wearing a face covering is still a critical component to the preventative safety measures put in place for Comal ISD. In July, the Texas Education Agency released guidance that stipulated that when a person tested positive for COVID-19, as long as everyone in the classroom was wearing a face covering, they would not have to be sent home for the 14-day viral incubation period. In August, that guidance was revised to remove the mask as a component of the definition for who was considered a close contact. Instead, TEA is relying on time and distance factors to determine who would be a close contact. Anyone who is within six feet of the individual for more than 15 minutes is considered a close contact. Individuals who are able to maintain distance are excluded from being sent home as a close contact. If it is determined that you are a close contact, you must remain off campus for the 14-day incubation period of the virus. If an individual develops symptoms during that time, they should seek medical attention and inform their doctor of their status as a close contact to a lab confirmed individual. They will still be required to remain off campus for the duration of the 14-day incubation period as COVID-related symptoms may develop or worsen at any point during that time frame, despite receiving a negative test result from their physician. An individual may receive a negative test result for multiple reasons, the primary one being that the test is administered too early in the life cycle of the virus, so there is not enough viral load to produce an accurate test result. TEA has written their guidance in such a way that allows a school district to consider other mitigating factors, such as the use of masks and protective barriers, in defining close contacts. However, at this time, there is no medical evidence available to support the decision to include the use of a face covering in that definition. If evidence presents itself at a later time, the district has the ability to make a change in the policy to consider the use of a face covering in defining close contacts. Until that time, the definition of close contact will remain dependent on distance and time being the critical factors. While the use of a face covering does not eliminate someone from being considered a close contact with the positive individual, it does minimize the risk of viral spread on campus, which reduces the number of positive cases we will see stemming from exposure. Face coverings are critical in common areas of the building where someone may cough or sneeze and another individual may come in contact with respiratory droplets. When combined with frequent cleaning and good hand hygiene practices, face coverings are our best defense in keeping our schools open by reducing the number of positive cases on campus so that close contacts do not have to be considered.